Greetings. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're considering buying this duffel bag. Um, as is often the case, I received this product free for the purpose of review, but despite that, I'm going to be completely honest about it because I shop on Amazon the same way you do. So uh, the last thing I want is to mislead someone because I don't want to be misled either. So uh, the uh, I, I tend to break duffel bags, I guess, down in my head into to two basic sort of types. Um, the, the first is, is is the type that sort of holds its form in some way. Um, that has somewhat semi-rigid sides to kind of hold this particular shape. Um, this has no such compunction. It is it can be wadded up into a ball um, and tucked away anywhere. Um, I, I'm not I do not say that's either good or bad, but just worth noting, I guess, to, to you as a consumer, if you want something that's going to hold the shape, this isn't it. This is just sort of a sort of a random. Um, uh, Duffel. Um, from, from a feature perspective, it's got uh, it's got two sets of handles. Uh, the first is the, uh, the the standard shorter handle like this. You can snap the uh, snap the two handles together and uh, have a have a very coherent handle. Um, it also also has a shoulder strap which goes from the, this length to um, crazily long. Um, it's, it's adjustable, so it uh, even at its longest length, I think it would fit just about anybody. I'm six foot four, and seeing this on me, it's uh, it, it's down here. So that's a that's a pretty long strap. Um, the uh, Unit has one side pocket, which is uh, which is in independent of the insides. There's a small sort of vinyl um, pocket on the inside of the duffel bag that backs that um, zipper. The zips themselves are plastic plastic zippers with uh, metal um, tags, so they seem very solid um, in both cases. And it's also expandable. You can, on the, the end of the bag, there's a there's a clip that allows you to either expand it to its full height or clip it down to a lesser height to give it give it a different profile depending on what you're using it for. Um, overall, I would say the construction is very very solid. As I look at it, that like here, there's a there's a there's a small run in the fabric. It doesn't detract terribly from it, but it makes me Makes me think this is this is made for for durability, not necessarily cosmetics. Um, and the last thing to note is it has the uh, rubber feet on the bottom to, to sort of help it stay in place. I guess I'm not sure what ultimate purpose these would serve because since the bag has no shape, it can't possibly you know lift it up off of wet ground or anything. So at any rate, um, I'm pretty happy with the with the bag. I just just watched the price point. It's nothing particularly you know amazing as bags go, but I think it's durable and serviceable, and will we'll certainly last a while. So I hope that's helpful. If it's not, or if there's something else you want to know, you know let me know, and I'll try to uh, find out for you. Um, I, I will be holding on to this this particular bag, so that, that does say something. I get rid of most of the stuff that comes in free for review, but so with that, uh, until next time, happy shopping.